But once again, my master, we're we'll playing some more of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and in this playthrough, we're going to be beating the game without dying. So if you want to know how to beat this game without dying, this is the playthrough for you. And in the last episode, we got to Gerudo Town, and we had a memory from 100 years ago at Karakara Bazaar, and we also freed the Blue Spirit Nadra on Mount Maneru in the last episode, and now we're going to be getting into Gerudo Town, and there's one problem with that. Men are not allowed into Grudel Town, and we are a man in this game, so yeah. We're gonna try to go in, we are stopped, and they point spears at us. So, Freeze, where do you think you're going? Not into town, that's for sure. No go allowed, off with you. So yeah, we actually can't enter this town, so yeah, we have to find a way in. And yeah, and you know, the Grudel have a, a reason for not letting in males in this town, and th there's a long story behind it. And you would have to play some other Zelda games besides this Zelda game to know why they did this. Because this is like the, you know, the latest Zelda game in the timeline. Um, and so, you know, like, a lot of, a lot of stuff has happened to the Gerudo tribe. And when men come in, they re it really messes up their tribe. So, a lot of things happen, you know, with Ganondorf, the Gerudo king. You know, a lot of stuff happened to them. So, they just don't let men in anymore. And, um, yeah, they just hate men. They're not letting any men in the town anymore. So we've got to find a way in because we want to stop Divine Beast Vandaboris. But they're just not letting us do it. We need to tell the chief of the Gerudo that we're going to do this. And we need we need to tell her that we're going to do it. And we, and we, but, yeah, but we need them to help us approach it. But, yeah, we actually can't um, tell them because we can't get into the town. So we need to find a way into the town. And we heard from a man near the shrine near Gerudo Town. Is that there's been a man who's traveled into this town and he travels through Karakara Bazaar and Gerudo Town. So we're gonna go to Karakara Bazaar and find this man. But before I get there, I actually see I actually see a chest right here that I can get. I think I went to this place. I think last episode I kind of I didn't get everything here because it was Lizolfos attacking me. But I think I can try this again here. So many of these guys attacking. I don't want to risk like anything like bad happening to me. I don't want to fight too many of these guys. I mean they're not bad. Tough either. They're, they're not powerful. I have a fairy, so I should be fine. Actually, yeah, if I do die, I will have a fairy. So it's, it's only if I it's, it's only if I see the game over screen. Like I'm allowed to use Mifa's Grace and fairies, you know, because they bring me back to life. So as long as it doesn't say game over, I'm fine. That's still like I'm still good. So yeah, but okay. Here we go. So there's, there's silver rupee. That's a hundred rupees. That's nice. Uh, let's see what's in uh, this box here. Whoa! Whoa! That was big. Oh my god! Whoa! He tried to lick me, but luckily I blocked him with Duric's protection. Let's just freeze these guys, you know, with my frost spear I got in the last episode from freeing the blue spirit Nadra. Yeah, just use that frost spear to just freeze all of these guys so we don't have to worry about them. I, f I feel like that, I that's what I love about the frost spear. It's like, you don't want to deal with the enemies, you don't have to. You just freeze them. That's all you have to do. Let's see, can, let's see if we can actually kill this guy with this box here. Let's put the box on him. Okay, that didn't kill him. Hold on, he's almost dead. Get him! Ha! There you go, I got you, I got you, you're not getting away. Yeah, so that guy didn't have to freeze. And this, this freezing thing does wear off, so we do need to just quickly get out of here. I don't want to waste the durability of my, um, Frost Spear either. It's a really good weapon, I don't want to waste the durability of it. So we got everything now, let's just get into Karakara Bazaar. It's quite close, yeah, here we go, so we're here. Just buy a bunch of stuff here. So let's take, yeah, the mighty bananas, the hydromelons, the palm fruit, all this stuff. And then we're gonna have some uh, cooking with Gaming Master. So let's do it. All right, so we finished cooking and now it's time to continue along. And uh, now that we're done with that, it's now time to find the man who got into Grudo Town. He's here in Karakara Bazaar right now. And what's happened is that... So, remember in the last episode, I said, Okay, on, on the top of this roof here, you need to go here. Just remember this spot. Well, I'm asking you to go back to this spot. I'm asking you to go here. And if you go back to that spot, then you'll find this guy. And oh my, what a lovely young lad you are. What's that you heard about a man who stuck in, who snuck into Grudo Town? I don't know anything about about him. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. Study her face. Hehe, <laughs> you're making my cheeks when I'm looking like that. You're a man. Oh my! You sure say the funniest things, young man. Anyway, if you don't need anything, you should be off. Then. So yeah, 
you have two things to say. You can say you're a man or you could say you're beautiful. So if you say you're a man, nothing happens. If you say you're beautiful, though, something different happens. So let's talk to him again and this time tell him that he's beautiful or she's beautiful. So I told you I didn't know anything. Do you always, do you always doubt someone's words? You're making my cheeks when I'm looking at that. You're very beautiful. Oh, such a nice thing to see. Oh, now that I look at my style, quite fetching to you. I have to charge, of course. But but people would see you completely different if you wore them. What do you think? What buy from for six hundred rupees? So we don't have six hundred rupees. We have five hundred thirty-seven rupees. I was in the last episode. I was actually stressing so much. I was like, no, we need to have six hundred rupees. We like we can't not have six hundred rupees. We need to make sure we have enough money. And then I just bought all the stuff. But look, we can sell. So it's, it's fine. There we go. We bought it. Good, we sold, but it's like, I was like so worried about it, I'm like, okay, make sure we don't run out of that, but <laughs> then I, I still ran out of it. It's okay, it's okay, though, we got it, it's fine. We got the lady clothing now for 600 rupees, it's a rip-off, but we need to get into Gerudo Town, so it's a rip-off, but still. <laughs> Here we go, so there we go, we did it! We're a lady! Eee! You look adorable! Ah, he, 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 just as I thought, you make quite a good-looking gal. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit. Okay. <laughs> it's such a striking look around here. I doubt anyone would even suspe suspect that you're a man. Yep, I'm a man. I don't look like a man, though. On top of that, I breathe so well, it, it's sure to help you deal with the heat a little bit. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. If, if you're free to grab something to eat sometime, keep me in mind. Hey! He's been exposed! Hey, <laughs> make sure you watch out for the wind! Yep! <laughs> make sure you watch out for the wind. If you want to get any more lady clothing, come back anytime! Yeah, that's the, I mean, that's proof. He is the man who got into Gerudo Town, and we're gonna be the second man who got into Gerudo Town. So, yeah. This is great. So now we can finally get in. There's this guy, I actually just picked up some vol fruit. Whoa, he just killed us, but we have a fairy, we have a fairy. We didn't die because we had a fairy, so we got healed. We're healed. Thankfully, thankfully. We had a fairy, so we got healed, we got brought back to life, and we didn't see any game over screen, so that doesn't count. But we actually have no more fairies, so if I die now, then I will officially die. But luckily I'm still alive, I can eat my food and get my hearts back. That was actually quite clumsy, but but Mifa's grace will eventually come back and then we'll be revived again if if you know if we die. But that's only when Mifa's grace comes back. Okay, let's actually kill this guy. I don't want him following me and then killing me while I'm running to Gerudo Town. I do not want my. I don't want to die now. I'm not starting over now. I, I in, in, in like in the first few episodes, I'm like if I die, I'll start over again. But I'm not. Di I'm not starting over again now. <laughs> I've gotten so far. What episode is this? 20, 20 something, twenty seven, or thirty or thirty seven? I don't even know. But it's it's so it's so like I've been. Uh, this is this is like this is such a like I've I've gone so far. I can't I can't end it now. So yeah. Hey, the name is Boz. I am thirty five, single, and I love jogging, especially on sand. Yeah, everyone says I'm tenacious. Uh, so are you on your own, pretty rough and tumble place. Want to hang out with me for a while? Nice sand jogging. I know it's these old things, but yeah, they're my sand boots. Love me to traverse the desert without being slowed down, so jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, we could grab a quiet corner and give me those boots. Yeah, I want them now. Huh? Oh, oh well, here's the thing: these sand boots are super rare, and I'd happily give them to you. But wait, this is a golden chance to woo. I mean, sure, I'd, I'd love to give them to you, but they're hungry little boot monster, but first, a favorite. Ever heard of the legend of the 8th heroine? 8th heroine? Everyone's heard about the legend in the Gerudo region about the 7th heroines wiped clean from history, and no one knows why or how. The phantom heroine knows known to all, but seen by none. Find her, show me the 8th heroine, and I'll give you those sand boots, what do you say? I'll go look. Yes! Um, according to those who idolize the Eighth Heroin, she is enshrined at the Grudel Highlands. Apparently, they even have a nickname for the Bronze Giant, Catchy. Who knows? There might be someone in Grudel Town who knows. Maybe that info would help. And we draw a picture or something. Find me. Find her. I'm pretty picky about pictures, too. Okay. All right. He's giving us snow, because this, uh, 
this um this eighth heroine is in the Gerudo Highlands and then you and and yeah, so it's 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 snowy there, so it's gonna snow but so we can run fast in snow, so this is great. And then we can get we can also get the sand boots if we find out about the eighth heroine. So what happens is that the, in 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 this area, there's gonna be something called the the seven heroines. You'll find these seven statues, okay? And there's this puzzle you do to get to the shrine, and um, but the, you'll find an eighth heroine in the Greedo Highlands. So yeah, that's what you can do. But okay, here we go. We got in. Yes, we finally got into the town. And um, yeah, you, I believe you can get accepted with the with uh, your Gerudo clothing. You can also get accepted with the snow boots, I believe, yeah, because I just walked in with the snow boots. But yeah, so here we go. Yeah, you fools, you Gerudo fools. I got in. You didn't even notice. I'm a different person now. You think I'm a different person. Ha, 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 ha. I, oh, you took away my Duke's protection. Hey, uh, that was a shield that I only get three times, and it has to recharge for ten minutes. Hey, that's that's not nice. That's not nice. Hey, you're mean. Get out of here. Oh, you're, you're ruining my shield now. I'm gonna parry you. Yeah, I'm deflecting your attacks now. Take that. This is good. This is good practice for fighting. This is good. Yeah, just practice against normal characters who are not gonna hurt you if they hit you. This is good. Good practice for skills. Yeah, I should keep that in mind. Good. That's good practice. All right. Oh, so yeah, so now that we're in here, yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can buy. There's some more Gerudo clothing if we ever need to sell, y sell any of our Gerudo clothes or we lose it or something happens to it. Uh, let's buy some, there's a bunch of mushrooms here we can buy. Also a lot of arrows we can buy here. There's arrows, ice arrows, fire arrows, uh, shock arrows, and bomb arrows. But I'm not buying any bomb arrows because uh, for 20 of these bomb arrows, it's 600 rupees. And yeah, it's just a total, it's, I feel like it's a ripoff. Like you can get... More, much more bomb arrows for a much better price in other places, you know. So there's a much better deal in Rito Village than in Gerudo Town. I mean, it's if it's, it's quicker, but it's not worth it. It's not right at all. So, Saba, Saba, I finally found the vow of my dreams, and I just recently married him. I thought I'd finally found happiness. But then my husband fell ill with a rare disease, one difficult to cure. The only thing that can save him is the innards of a Molduga. I would never be able to take out, a, take down a creature as, as, as myself. So I asked the soldiers for help, but they said they had serious issues to deal with. They had no time for my plight. They turned me away. But then, w w then why wouldn't they? The Molduga is a menacing beast. No one who faced one uh, would escape unscathed. So perhaps it's foolish to expect anyone to stick their neck out for a stranger. Thought I'd finally gotten out of this town. Thought I'd never have to come crawling back. Molduga? Molduga is a monster, a terror so savage, even other monsters won't approach it. It's often spotted west of here in the Toruma Dunes in, in the south. It's very sensitive to vibrations and feeds to attack anything that draws near. You can't approach it or even move near it. And you, can, you can't use someone as bait. So what am I to do? Oh, what a depressing story. That's so sad. Uh, I, we can talk to this person. I'm not going to talk to them yet, though. We're gonna, I'm going to talk to her later. Uh, right now, I actually want to meet the chief of the Gerudo right now, which is Lady Riju. So let's talk to Lady Riju. Mm -hmm. Yet another traveler. How did you get in here? Oh. Seems you have something rather interesting there. All right, so she notices something we have. Oh. You stand before Lady Riju, chief of the Gerudo. Declare our business, but come no closer. Yeah, so this person's very, very serious about treating Riju properly. Hold on, Valeria. This one appears to be more than a common traveler. Who the, you, you there? What is your name? Uh, my name is Link. Oh. Link. And what is it you've come all the way to tell me, Link? I can calm Naboris. Oh. You think you have what it takes to subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The only ones who could ever control them were the champions like Lady Urbosa. Oh, 
all of the champions died in the calamity a hundred years ago. Yeah, I also was assumed to be dead, but mm. I actually was um, resurrected. Hmm, Valeria, a memory just popped into my head when the calamity happened. The princess of Hyrule, uh, the princess of Hyrule, placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link. Though it, was only, though it always seemed more legend than fact. But Lady Riju, do, 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 do those same stories now also say that the Hylian champion carried the legendary sword? I see no such weapon in this person's care. Hmm. They do indeed. If I call correctly, it was called the sword that seals the darkness. The Princess of Hyrule supposedly hid it away in the Lost Woods. Hmm. But what of the device of the on the one's hip? It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. Can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter. Can you? Mm. I don't remember ever hearing of of a Hylian Vi among the champions. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. Wait a moment. You're a vole. Yeah, wait. Please don't report me. A vole within our walls is a great crime, but a vole who is a champion. Oh, we never mistreat a friend of Lady Urbosa, and if you're here to help us with Naboris, then we're allies. Huh? We saw it on your way to- you, you saw it on your way to town. Divine oh. Beast Von Naboris cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at anyone who dared to approach. Hmm. We have to do something to stop it, but we have yet to find any way to appease the Divine Beast on our own. If you are truly a champion, perhaps you'll be able to enter Nabors. Mm. Lady Riju, I don't see how you can trust a complete stranger. Perhaps this person were first to prove the, his, his worth by recovering your stolen Thunderhelm. Mm. Ah, uh, yes, an interesting suggestion. You see, there is only one thing in all of Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from Nabors. The Thunderhelm. A family heirloom and the relic of Gruda, but as Bleria says, it was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Riju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Oh. Our soldiers can tell you all you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arc. It will lead you to the barracks. Then seek out Captain Teak and ask for a fuller report. Without my heirloom, you'll never be able to approach Naboris. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I take heart in having such a rare visitor as yourself. Later, Bosa must be looking out for us. Alright, so, there we go. We now have an update. Oh, I was actually going to talk to this person here, but okay. It looks like they are gone. Yeah, they're a traveler that's interesting and has some discoveries. But it's only, it's only like a side quest, so it's not important. Okay, but yeah. Also, I want to show this off, so if we go up here and try to go upstairs, they stop us, so HALT! Unless you have permission, you'll stay right there. I don't care who you are. So yeah, that's actually the entrance to Riju's room. It's her bedroom. So, yeah, we're actually not even allowed to go there because um, it's her bedroom. And, um, yeah, so she just doesn't... Unless you have permission, we're not allowed to go upstairs where Riju is... Unfortunately, I yeah, have to just stay here. But yeah, there is a way to get up there without them noticing you. You have to climb to the very top, and then they don't notice. So we can get up there, but eventually you'll be able to access her room anytime you want. But if you want to do it early, there is a way. But okay, what are you doing in here? This is not a barracks. For the, this is the barracks for the chief guard. It's not a place for tourists to gather. We're on high alert after the recent theft, so you should clear out. What? Valeria sent you? Oh. My apologies, I'm the officer in charge of the soldiers, Captain Teak. The chief's heirloom was stolen by the thieves belonging to the Yiga clan the other day, so everyone's on edge. Oh. We've determined the Yiga's hideout is in Carusa Valley, but the soldiers are all exhausted, so I was just thinking about requesting some extra help. Oh. Hey everyone, listen up! The Hylian Vias are green to help us, so offer any information you can. Ooh. Consider yourself a part of our unit. If you have any questions, my troops will be happy to help. 
All right, so we can ask any troops. And also here we can get a golden bow, which zooms in on enemies to shoot. So it's good. It's a, it's a good sniping bow. So we got that there. Um, but the only um, the only um, Gudo soldiers I'm actually interested in is these three soldiers over here. So let's talk to this this one here. So hey, I haven't seen Barta. Where is she? She said she was going to scout the thieves' hideout, but then she left before we could say anything. Now that I think about it, she's been gone for two days. I wonder what happened to her. You are you serious? Why'd you let her go by herself, and why'd you wait two days to report this? I'm, I apologize, you said she wanted to check it out and would be careful, so I thought... Uh, if it's, if it's, as if we aren't busy enough searching for the chief's heirloom, now we have to find Barta, too? If the captain hears about this fiasco, she'll punish us for sure. Probably a hundred laps around the Gerudo Desert again. Oh, oh no, what should we do? I'm thinking about it! Yeah, well, they definitely shouldn't have done that, you know? That's not a good idea to just not tell her that. Barda shouldn't have went there anyway. But yeah, we can actually find Barda. It, we, we'll find Barda later, actually. I'm not going to spoil it for any of you who don't know, but yeah. So we'll find her later. Uh, but yeah, and this room is where all the Gerudo learn about men. Because they can't meet any men in Gerudo Town, because men aren't there, so after they have to travel the world, and one of the biggest goals in life for the Gerudo women is to find men to marry, so that's something, you know, in their culture, that every Gerudo woman leaves the town and goes on a mission, and they never really come back, because why would they come back to their hometown if they can't bring their husband there, so they don't really come back, but... Yeah, the ones who, yeah, so some of them don't come, and some of, the, some of them don't ever get married. Some of them do, though, and some of them, you know, live in other towns. But, okay, so, yeah, I actually climbed to the top of Gerudo Town, then I used my paraglider to glide over to Riju's room, and now we can find her room, and, yeah, here's the, here are the soldiers. They don't even know that I made it up here, and they have no idea. But, yeah, so I can see her plushy dolls and her couch and her bed. And she has a diary. I'm not gonna read that yet, though. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that later. But um, yeah, she has a cool diary. You can read about her. And she has a bed here. And she has all these sand seal plushy the dolls. Then she has these like graves. I think probably some one of them might, might be like Lady Urbosa. One of them might be her mother or something, because her mother did die. And as you can see, she you can tell she is a child. So her mother died, and she had to become chief of the Gerudo after her mother died. And I think that's written in her diary too. So yeah, we're not gonna read her diary yet, though. We'll come back and do that later. Yes, so that's diary of Makila Riju. So yeah, that's her first name, Makila. So her name is Makila Riju. And, um, yeah, so that's, that's her, yeah. Um, yeah, so she has, there's a, there's a blog story, you know, with her, um, diary, but yeah, we'll look at that later, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna buy some more things in, um, real town here, let's see, let's, we can buy some, we all oh, just bought some seared raw gourmet, we just got some seared gourmet, gourmet steak, and now we can, also get the, 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 the we got the raw, the, the seared prime steak, and I'll just get seared steak, yeah, this, the steak is really good for just quickly healing up, uh, we can also buy some more of these arrows, I guess, what, what do I have the least, uh, I guess, ice arrows and shock arrows, I guess I'll get some ice arrows then, right, yeah, probably buy ice arrows, ice, ice arrows are helpful, shock arrow, electricity and ice are really good, because electricity makes enemies drop their weapons, and then ice just freezes them, so, I like electricity and ice. Those are the best elements for me. But okay, so now that we've exited Gerudo Town, we can now take off all of our uh, lady clothing and put on our, our men's clothing, which is our champion tunic and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to go do this shrine now. So yeah, we're not going to be um, doing the whole Yiga Clan thing today. We're going to be doing that in another episode. But I want to do the shrine, and after we finish the shrine... We are going to have four spirit orbs, and then we can get another heart container, and that will be 13 hearts, which means we'll be able to get the Master Sword at 13 hearts. So I'm really excited to do this shrine, because, uh, yeah, we're going to get uh, our, another spirit orb. So, yeah. But, okay, I'm going to hook up these uh, metal boxes here. So let's, let's take these. Okay, hold on. So, yeah, we've got to, as you can see, what we've got to do, we've got to hook up the electricity to open one of those doors. But looks like... This box isn't big enough, so I think the bigger box actually can go here, and I think the smaller barrel can go over there. Hold on, so let's take this barrel. Let's see, that barrel can go there, and then we take the big box, and then put the big box here. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite puzzles in the game, because there's some puzzles in this game that just aren't good. 
Uh, this is one of the few puzzles that I actually really like, and it's like reminds me of the other Zelda games. I really love this puzzle a lot. But okay, so now we, that we have an extra metal barrel, now we can move these barrels around. Now position it to there. Now move that over to there. And there we go. That's going to open up that door. And now we get a chest. So we can open up that. And we can actually use that now to hook up more electricity. So let's open this up. See what's in there and then use this. So okay, we had a thunder blade. So it's thunder blade. Okay, so that's actually it's going to that that just like our frost spear instant the frost spear instantly freezes enemies. Well, this is going to instantly electrocute enemies and make them drop their weapons. So this is a really good weapon. I love the thunder blade. So I need to drop a weapon though cuz my inventory is full. So I could either drop my korok leaf or my torch. I like the korok leaf cuz it blows wind, but the torch, I mean, you need to use torches all the time. So I guess yeah, I'll, I, I guess I'll take the the torch. No, no, I'll take. No, I'll get rid of the torch. Yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll get my thunder blade then. And now we can use this chest now to hook up some more le electricity now. But okay, uh, so let's see. Um, let's not just put all of these uh, metal boxes over to to the side over here because yeah, now now we're gonna do the right side of this uh, shrine here. So let's just put everything here. I think here we can use a small. Um, barrel though, right? Yeah, we don't need that. I just want to put everything where it is now. Just, just take everything, put it on the right side. Then we'll start figuring out the puzzle here. So put everything there. Yeah, put that there. Let's take that away. Actually, we can actually use. Yeah, the, we can use this. Is small. Yeah, that that's small enough to hook that up. So let's hook that up there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, and we can use another small barrel over there. Yeah, so take take this barrel here. Good, yeah, take that, and then move that over here, and now we can use that, now we can use this treasure chest now, right, because we can hook this up, because this is, oh, okay, I just electrocuted myself, but okay, yeah, because this is, I don't think a small barrel could do that, but the chest is bigger than the small barrel, so we can put that there, and then the big box can go here to hook these up, okay, it's not actually, okay, it's not actually doing it, hold on, let's put it, put it, just shove it in between, there we go, and now we get another big box. Wonderful. So let's get this and hook that up. And that activates that, but we need to activate two of that. Of those or those things. So let's put let's take this. And now we are going to put this over to here. And that's already electrocuted, so we can just put that there. And that hooks up two of those things. And that opens up the gate. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So, all right, there we go. We got a spirit orb. That's four spirit orbs. And now let's go to, into Grudel Town and uh, find the goddess statue there. And, uh, yeah, get a heart container. Let's go in there. Because Rivali's going to be able to find the goddess statue. It's, like, to the left of the town. Oh, what? wait, nope. I have my men clothes on. I don't have the Gerudo clothes on. Okay. Sorry, I'll put my lady clothes on. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. You are Vor forbidden from entering this town. This is Groot a lot. Do you understand? All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. I'll just change right in front of you. And uh, you are going to think I'm a different person because you clearly were not looking when I was changing. Yeah. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. Looks like you were kind of suspicious of me. Yeah. I'm going to do some more training on you guys. No, no, you know what? You know, no, no, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go. It's a waste of time. Let's just find the goddess statue now. They already wasted one of my Rivali's gales, which is really nice of them. So, yeah, let's not, like, waste anything else. Let's talk to this. Okay, there's this person here, so what's Vo doing in this town? Oh, she realizes that we're Vo! Surprise, you might be able to fool other Vi around here. You won't fool me so easily. All right. Oh, no, please don't report me. Don't worry, though, it doesn't matter much to me what you do. Yeah, all the people who notice us don't actually report us, so. But since you came all the way here, maybe you'd like to stay a bit and chat? Well, ever left the town? Oh, oh, I may not look like it now, but I was quite the traveler when I was young. Quite a beauty, too. It was a rare, it was a rare thing for a vote to not notice me come into a room. But I had a fairy tale notion in my mind. I heard of the lover's pond, and I thought I'd meet my true love there. I traveled across Hyrule searching for this fabled place. But I couldn't find it, and before I knew it, I'd grown old. The vow no longer turned when I walked in. Ah, uh, that's sad. Oh, don't look so sad. I stopped being sad about it a long time ago, and I chased my dreams. 
I had such a treat to chat with the Roy, and will you humor me a bit longer? The goddess statue? Oh, the goddess statue has been here since long before I was ever even born. Oh, no one really believes in this stuff anymore. But they kind of avoid it, kind of like they avoid me. Yes, but someone just keep the goddess statue company, so here I am. <laughs> I had such a treat to chat with the Roy again. Will you humor me a little longer? Well, there's no, no, no other questions to ask, so... Sorry, I actually gotta go and now get myself a heart. So let's do this. So let's get a heart container. Yeah, let's do it. I shall grant you the power you seek. All right, let's get it. All right, 13 hearts. Yay. There we go. We got a heart. 13 hearts. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. I will. I have so many hearts. Yes, I've done it. I'm going to do this now. I'm finally going to get the Master Sword. We're leaving right now. I'm not, I'm not, we're doing the Yiga Clan hideout ne next episode today. We're going to the Korok Forest. And we're going to, to, to get the Master Sword today, this episode. I know, I've, I know this video is already quite long, but I'm going. I'm going. I'm going there. We're going. We're leaving. We're leaving. We're going. Come on, Epona. Let's go. So we're going to the so we're going to the Korok Forest. So right now I'm at the Wetland Stable. Um, it's in like the Central Hyrule area, and um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to the I'm at the Wetland Stable and I'm just following the path. So there's a path where you can go left or right. So what you have to do, I believe, you have to go right. Yeah, yeah, you have to go. So like th this way, this this way, yeah, here, this way. So that's where you're going. You're going just just if the map shows your the the, the arrow going up, then that means that you're going right so yeah because korok for us is farther north so we've got to go north here okay there's this electric keys following us let's shoot this guy down okay now let's keep going keep traveling across hyrule and here we go we made it to the woodland stable i believe yeah the woodland stable and this is the last stable before the korok forest so here we go we made it so i'm gonna rest here a little bit Maybe just sleep here because, yeah, I, I, I do have a low heart, so I might get a soft bed, which heals all my hearts and gives me an extra heart. So I might just do that, pay 40 rupees for that, and uh, sleep here, maybe buy some things. And, uh, yeah, I guess check in with the shrine here so I can always teleport back. But I'm not doing the shrine, though, because right now I'm just going to try and go to the Korok Forest and get the Master Sword. So, yeah, okay, so it's time now. But I also found Hestu out here. So let's talk to Hestu and, I guess, expand my, my weapon stash, my shield stash, my bow stash. You know, since I've, uh, I'm already here, I might as well do that. But okay, so folks here say we're between the Elven region and the Grey Hyrule Forest. So that means the Korok Forest is very near. So yeah, we're actually going to the same place because Hestu's home is the Korok Forest. I'm actually traveling the same place. So how nice. We're, it's, it's, it looks like we're just both uh, going to the same place. But as long as I'm here, I might as well rest up. Yeah, that's what I thought. But oh, wait a minute. I know that's my anywhere. It's a Korok Seed. You've collected a Korok Seed from the Forest Children, haven't you? If you give me the Korok Seeds, I'll increase the size of your stashes. Okay, I need five Korok Seeds. So it's time to expand our weapon stash so we can carry more weapons. So let the expansion begin. All right, here we go. Let's do it, Hestu. Yay! We have more space in our weapon stash. Da na 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 na. -na. Expand the band the weapon stash. Okay, then 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 do you want to expand another stash? Shield stash. Okay, I need one Korok seed. Actually, yeah, no, no, not shield stash. Let's do bow stash. I think I feel like. Yeah, let's do bow stash. Bow stash. Here, what? Here, that's two Korok seeds. All right. All right. Now, uh, yeah, there we go. So now we can carry three more bows now. Da na 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 na. Okay. And now let's do the shield stash. It looks like looks like his maracas turn. Uh, he does his, his maracas turn red when he does the, the weapon stash. They turn green when he's doing bow stash. And what are they gonna turn when they do shield stash? Because because we're expanding shield stash. Okay, blue. They turn blue when he's doing the shield stash. Okay. Yeah, this dance is so cool to see. I just can't skip this scene. It's so cool. It's so cool to see. There. So there we go. Yeah. Because we actually don't have much space in the shield stash. I don't think we've ever expanded it. So. It's good that we expanded that, but okay, so now I'm gonna, okay, he's, he's heading back to the Korok Forest now. So he's heading there, so we're going to the same place, has to, so. See you at the Korok Forest, has to, and then we can find him there. He's not gonna travel around, that's where, that, that'll be his permanent spot now, but okay. Let's check him with the, let's check him with the shrine, so we can always teleport, um, there and back. 
to the, to the stable. And now let's go after the Great Hyrule Forest with, and then to the Korok Forest. So yeah, um, the, the Korok Forest can be a little bit uh, dangerous for my horse. So I'm actually not going to bring my horse. I'm actually going on foot now because it, it's pretty it's pretty close. I only need my horse to get to that stable. But yeah, I don't need to use my horse anymore. But there we go. I thought I might as well take out these Bokoblins here because I haven't ever fought them. And I can get a chest and a reward, you know, for killing these guys. So I thought I might as well kill them here. And okay, let's see. What, let's, okay, he's frozen. Let's do a jump attack on him. Wait, no. no jump attack. No. Jump attack! No, just jump. There we go. We got him. There we go. And now we get a reward. Very nice. All right, let's see. What's in there? What are we getting? A topaz. That's good. That We can sell that for 180 rupees. That's good. That's that's awesome. All right. Um, and so, uh, by the way, I picked up a torch at the woodland stable. So, yeah, I got my torch back that I dropped. So, there we go. Um, but okay, I actually found this tower here, and so I, I knew it was coming. I, I was at first I thought I, w I wasn't gonna get it, but I thought you know it's, it's already here. I might as well get it. You know, I'm I'm passing through it. You know, and but with, with the tower, I'll, I I could like glide down into the into the into the Great Hyrule Forest there, and that'll be close to the Korok Forest. So I thought I might as well get this tower. You know, while I'm doing this, so it'll be a longer episode. I was hoping for this to be a, a shorter episode, but it's gonna end up being a long episode. But okay, my boomerang just broke, and now my knight's broadsword is also damaged, which is actually really a shame. I actually really like the sword. It's really too bad it's damaged now. Yeah, that's the sad part. Don't get attached to weapons, because then if you use them too much, they break. So, it's too bad. It's really too bad that I'm just going to break this weapon now. Because it's weak, it's badly damaged, and it's probably going to break now. But okay. okay this guy's shooting me. Let's not get hit by him. Like, we almost died before. Let's actually be careful. Let's freeze him. Then let's take out our knight's broadsword and break it on him. There we go, and now let's take out our frost spear and freeze him. And now let's let's actually should we hit him again? Yeah, hit him again. And then how how should we finish him off? How about he has forty two health left? So my stone smashers actually does the exact amount of damage. There we go. You did. There we go. So he's gone. That's the end of him. There's these guys. Yeah, throw that explosive barrel. Okay, he just fell into that muddy water. I think that's quicksand. Yeah, so you'll, if you fall in there, you'll just instantly die. You'll just instantly drown in there. And you'll, you'll die. So, well, not, not die. Not, not die. You'll only lose one heart in there, but you'll just drown down there and you'll lose one heart. Yeah, all these poor cobwebs just falling up. I feel so bad. They're just like, they're just all like, okay, I, I could just kill them. I, I don't feel as bad when I'm killing them with my bows and arrows and my weapons, but I, I'm literally just like, I'm, 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 I'm shooting them. Then, they're, and then I, they, they just drown in, the, in this quicksand. I feel, I feel, I feel like drowning is not, I, I would not want to die by drowning. I would rather die by the, by the, by the you know, like 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 the like the swords and not fire either. I just burned this Octorok with my fire rod because I just killed that fire wizard with that with my with my ice arrows because you know ice arrows instantly kill fire enemies. So I just got a fire rod there. But okay, so there we go. We got to the top of the woodland tower. There we go. There we go. We now have a map of this whole area now. So shake a tower activated. Here we go. Nice, we got it. Wonderful. Yay. Yay, all right, there we go, we got it. See, I was actually thinking of approaching Death Mountain from this area too, but I actually approached it from another um, angle, but, but I, I could have also approached it from this angle too, but I decided to approach it in a different angle when I went to Death Mountain. So yeah, just so you know, I wanted to tell you that. But okay, there we go. So let's see what, what happened here. Oh, very nice. Wow. <laughs> wow. Regional map extracted. And now we can see the Korok Forest on there too. So there we go. This is great. And I believe on top of this, yeah, this tower is really cool because you, you can find a lot of things. We just got some amber. We got a green rupee. But the biggest thing about this tower is that on the top of this tower, on the top of this rock, you'll actually find a really powerful weapon. So I want to go up there and get that weapon. So let's jump onto this rock here. Let's let's climb up 
And there we go, the Royal Claymore. This is 52 damage. So it's an insane amount of damage. It's not our most powerful weapon. The Ancient Blade Saw is still our most powerful weapon. I, I, I never use it because I don't want to break it. Um, that's my Ganon weapon. That's my like my Ganon weapon slash guardian killing weapon because that's also made for killing guardians. So yeah, it's made for big fights, not these little fights. I used my other weapons for that. But okay, so here we are, we're in the Great Hyrule Forest, and now we're crossing in to the Lost Woods. So yeah, it goes Great Hyrule Forest, Lost Woods, Korok Forest. So yeah, we got, we got, for, through the Great Hyrule Forest, you then enter the Lost Woods, and then once we get through the Lost Woods, then we get to the Korok Forest. But yeah, so, uh, this Lost Woods is a very strange place, it's called the Lost Woods for a reason. As you can see, it's already quite, quite mysterious, and, um... You know, you also know if you take the if you walk in a random place and you go the wrong way, everything fogs up, and then you're brought back to the beginning of the Lost Woods, and it's quite scary for you. Know, quite scary for me when I first experienced this. I'm like, wait, what? What happened? What happened? Why? Why is everything? Ha why is this happening? What's happening? What is? Did the game? What did the game glitch or something? But. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's part of the game. But yeah, if you want to know, you're probably wondering, how do I go take the right path? Well, see these torches? Well, you see the embers that are guiding you? See the embers guide you? See? Let me show you. See, look. Look at the little, pe the ashes. They they show the path. The direction they're flowing, that's the way you go. That's how you know where to go. You follow those. And look, nothing's fogging up. I'm getting to here. And oh, no. Okay, so. Here we go. Now, there are no more of these lanterns. We now have to use torches. And yeah, so we need a torch. Okay. There's actually a chest here. It's a forest dweller spear. I actually don't care about forest dweller spears. I don't like that. And I, I don't like, I, the only forest dweller weapon is the for, the only good forest dweller weapon is the forest dweller sword. But not, nothing else. But okay. And the forest dweller shield. But okay. Um, so yeah, so yeah, so it's gonna just show you the path. And when you hold up the torch, the embers will show you where to go. But okay, we now made it to the end of the Lost World, and now we have entered the Korok Forest. So here we go, guys. We finally made it. There's the Master Sword. It's in the pedestal. It's ready to be taken. But Sally, that's gonna be the end of the episode. And if you like the video, please press like. And I can see Hestu over here has made it to where he did. And by the way, if you really love the video and want to see more of these videos, subscribe. So you can see more of my videos. You can notify every time I upload a video. If you turn on notifications. Hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you later in the next one.